I'm going to show you how to tear down a Panasonic Lumix ZS6 camera. The ZS6 and the ZS7 are pretty much the same camera. The main difference is the ZS7 has GPS functions built in. I'm going to show you how to tear them down using the ZS6, but it pretty much applies to both the cameras. The cameras are held together with Phillips head screws, but the best screwdriver that I found is a slotted head screwdriver. I've tried both 3-aught and 4-aught Phillips head screwdrivers on these screws, but they just don't work that well. This slotted screwdriver actually works the best. The first thing we're going to remove is the back cover. The back cover, it holds the LCD display and some of the controls. There's two screws on the bottom and two on each end that hold the cover on. Now we can remove the cover. As you can see, there's two flat ribbon cables that connect the display to the camera. To disconnect these flat ribbon cables, we need to flip this little black tab up, and that will release the cable. We need to do it on both of these connectors. We'll do the small one first. Once the tabs are up, we can gently pull the cables out. If you want to change out the LCD display on here, it's pretty easy to do. Just look on the back side down at the bottom for a tab that has a hole in it. Take your screwdriver, put it between that tab and the frame. Then just lightly pry it up. It'll pop right out. To put it back in, Line up the three tabs on the bottom of the display with the three holes in the frame. Once they're lined up, push on the other side until it pops into place. That's all there is to it. Next, we'll take off the main front basal unit. There's one screw on the bottom and two on each end. Now we'll remove the switch. There's one little clip that holds it down. Just put the screwdriver underneath it and it'll pop right up. To remove the shield, we need to take out three screws. One here, here, and here. Next, we'll remove the tripod mount. It needs to be slid to the left and then it'll pop right out. Now we'll remove the small circuit board on the end. To do that, we're going to have to release the flat ribbon cable. This connector is a little bit different than the others. This one has a small brown tab and it needs to be flipped up.
once the flat ribbon cable has been disconnected you can remove the board by inserting a screwdriver in the small hole in the bottom and then just prying up now we're going to remove the main lens unit to do that we're going to have to disconnect these two flat ribbons and then remove three screws And that's the entire lens unit there. Now this lens unit is used in both the ZS6 and the ZS7. To remove the top unit, we'll have to lift on three different tabs. There's one on this side, and two on this side. This one has a small hole where you can get the screwdriver in and lift on it and then lift on this one. Now we're going to remove the flash unit assembly. It consists of three parts, the flash, the circuit board, and the large capacitor. To remove it, You'll have to push on two tabs, one here and one here. The best way that I found to remove this circuit board is to take your screwdriver and put it under the end clip. Pull up real lightly to put just a little pressure on it and then hold it with your finger. Then take the screwdriver and push on each of the two tabs. Then you can release the entire flash unit. Next we'll remove the main circuit board. We'll have to release this flat ribbon cable and remove two screws on it. Now we'll need to pull back on two clips, one here and one here, while lifting on the circuit board. And now we'll remove the plastic divider. There's one screw holding it down. Once the screw is out, lift lightly right here to get it out of the notch. And then it'll come right out. The last thing that to remove now is just the SD memory card circuit board. It just pops right out. And that's everything. Okay, now we'll put it back together.